now uh, in this lecture uh, we are going to discuss about uh, the topic that we have started rectification okay so i'll uh, quickly go through the basics uh, that we have discussed okay. so uh, we have seen that uh, the technique of integration can be used to find the length of the curve and uh, we call this technique as uh, rectification okay <clears throat> now uh, what we can have we can have the curve as y is equal to f of x that means x is going to be the independent variable and y is going to be the dependent variable so in this case the formula to find the length of the curve is s is equal to square root of 1 plus dy by dx bracket square and then uh we have to integrate this for the <coughs> length or the interval given for x okay now if we have the curve or the equation of the curve as y uh, x is equal to f of y then <coughs> we are able to find the length of the curve as s is equal to integration square root of 1 plus dx by dy bracket square and this we have to integrate with respect to y for the given limits of y okay now we will uh, we will see some examples based on this okay so uh, let us have an uh, example okay and uh, if we have the polar curve that is if we have r as a function of theta then uh, we can have the formula as s is equal to square root integration of square root of r square plus dr by d theta bracket square and this we have to integrate with respect to theta Uh, with the limits of theta so we can get the length of the curve okay now what we can have is uh, let us see the formulas that uh, we have consider or uh, we have seen so what we have let y is equal to function of x be the given curve then the length yes of the arc from x is equal to a to x is equal to b is given as yes is equal to integration a to b square root of 1 plus dy by dx bracket square dx now if we have the curve x is equal to f of y b the curve then the length yes of the arc from y is equal to c So y is equal to b is given as s is equal to integration c to d square root of one plus dx by dy bracket square and this integration should be with respect to dy. Now what we can have is if we have the curve r is equal to f of theta b the curve then the length s yes, of the arc from theta is equal to alpha to theta is equal to beta is given as s yes, is equal to please mute yourself okay then uh, we have let r is equal to f of theta b the curve then the length s yes, of the arc from theta is equal to alpha to theta is equal to beta is given as s yes, is equal to integral alpha to beta square root of r square plus dr by d theta bracket square d theta okay so these are the formulas uh, that we are going to use to solve the problems now uh, let us see the problem 
Yeah. We'll consider the first problem. I want uh, you to write down the problem and uh, solve with me. Okay. So write down the problem. Find the length. Find the length of the arc of the parabola. Y square is equal to eight x. Cut off by its lattice rectum. Okay, so I want you to solve this problem with me. So please uh, write down this uh, problem. Find the length of the arc of the parabola. Y square is equal to eight x. Cut off by its lattice rectum. So here. we have the curve y square is equal to 8x this is going to be the parabola we compare this with the standard parabola y square is equal to 4ax so we can get the value of uh, 4a to be 8 <coughs> and then we want to find out uh, the length of the arc cut off by its lattice rectum so when we know the parabola we should know <coughs> some certain things about the parabola So let us rectum. Let us rectum for the parabola y square is equal to 4a is the line x is equal to a. So <coughs> here <coughs> we are able to get this parabola. So we can have let y square is equal to 8x be the parabola with the let us rectum as x is equal to a. So we can have this parabola, and uh, we can see. i have drawn the lattice rectum so this is going to be the lattice rectum and we want to find the length of the curve from this point to this point so length of the arc cut off by the lattice rectum okay now this is the lattice rectum and this is the part of the parabola which we want to find out so it is easy if i am able to find out the length from this point o to p then i can make it twice and hence i am able to get the length of this part of the parabola cut off by its lattice rectum so we need to understand what are the <coughs> points in <coughs> okay what are the points uh of intersection so if we consider the points of intersection of lattice rectum and the parabola we can see here we know x is equal to 2 so if i put the value of uh, x is equal to 2 here what i am able to get is y square is equal to 16 so y is equal to plus or minus 4 okay so if we get y square is equal to plus or minus 4 then we can have 2 4 and the point 2 minus 4 so we have to find the length from here to here but i'll find the length from here to here and make it twice so now we have to find the length of the arc cut off by its lattice rectum okay so here uh, this is a cartesian curve it is in terms of x and y so we can uh, use the formula 1 or formula 2 now we need to understand which is the easy formula whether we should express uh, x in terms of uh, y or whether we should express y in terms of x so we can see the equation y square is equal to 8x so if we express y in terms of x then it will be y is equal to square root of 8x but if i consider x in terms of y it will be x is equal to y square by 8 so which will be easy uh, to treat the derivative and square root okay hence what we do is we consider the curve y square is equal to 8x as x is equal to y square so if i consider x is equal to y square then i am able to find dy by dx as 2y by 8 which is y by 4 and now i want to have the square of this so i'll consider the square of dx by dy bracket square is equal to y square by 16 next we want 1 plus dx by dy bracket square so we can have 1 plus y square by 16 and hence we will be having 16 plus y square by 16 now i want to have the square root of this uh 1 plus dx by dy bracket square so let us see the square root of this d this term 
so square root of 1 plus d uh, dx by dy bracket square is equal to square root of 16 plus y square plus uh, upon 16 so is equal to square root of 16 plus y square upon 4 and uh, we know y is running from 0 to 4 so as i have considered this arc from uh, this point to this point so this is the origin so the coordinate y coordinate is 0 and uh, here the y coordinate is going to be 4 so that's why we have the limits for y from 0 to 4 and now we are able to find out the length so the length uh, is given as s is equal to twice integral 0 to 4 square root of 1 plus dx by dy bracket square and we have to integrate this with respect to dy now uh, we have twice integral 0 to 4 square root of 16 plus y square by 4 dy and uh, this is equal to if we simplify uh, this 4 i can take outside and hence i'll be having half and now the square root of 0 to 4 the integral 0 to 4 square root of 16 plus y square dy now here we need to integrate this so we can easily express this as s is equal to half of integration 0 to 4 square root of 16 plus y square dy so i'll write this y square here and 16 here so i can write it as is equal to half of integral 0 to 4 integration y square plus 4 square dy now here uh, we have a standard formula for this so what is the standard formula we have if we have integration of square root of x square plus a square dx then the integration is x by 2 square root of x square plus a square plus a square by 2 log of x plus uh, square root of x square plus a square so using this formula our x is uh, y square here and a square is 4 square here okay so now uh, if we use uh, this formula we get this half remains as it is and the integration is y by 2 square root of y square plus 4 square plus y square by 2 log of y plus square root of y square plus 4 square and the limit for integration are 0 to 4. Now uh, we can have this half. Let us use the limits of integration 0 and 4. Okay, so if I use uh, 4, I'll be having 4 by 2 square root of 4 square plus 4 square plus y, uh, 4 square by 2 log of 4 plus square root of 4 square plus 4 square. So this is for the limit 4. Now if I put y is equal to 0, we have this term, uh, we have y here. So if I put 0, this term will be 0. Please unmute yourself. Okay. So if I use, uh, if I use uh, 0, then I will have here, because of this y, I will get uh, 0 minus y square by 2. And this is 0, this is 0. So we will get 0 plus square root of 0 plus 4 square. Okay, good evening. Okay, so uh, we get here this and then uh, we can have half. So I can simplify this term and it will be 16 plus 16. So 2 into square root of 32 plus we can simplify this 16 by 2. So we'll be having 8 and then uh, we can have log of 4 plus uh, root 32 minus 8 log of 16 root 16 so if i simplify here i can take out 4 here so i'll be having 4 root 2 8 i can have this 4 plus 4 root 2 minus 8 we can have the square root of 16 which is going to be 4 and now what we can have is if we simplify i can take out this 8 common so 8 by 2 
remain and here we have square root of 2 plus log of 4 plus 4 <coughs> root of 2 minus log of 4 so we know log of a minus log of b is log of a by b so we can use it and hence we get 4 square uh, plus uh, square into root of 2 plus log of 4 plus 4 root 2 by 4 and now we can simplify it uh, here so we have s yes is equal to 4 times root 2 plus log of 1 plus root 2 so here you can cancel out this 4 by taking common so this way we got the length of the arc cut off by its let us write term is 4 times uh, square root of 2 plus log of 1 plus root 2 okay so this way we are able to get uh, this problem so i hope uh you understood and uh, you are writing with me yes sir okay uh, any one of you have query up to yet no sir ye uh, problem samajh mein aaya have you got this problem yes, yes sir okay uh, see unmute yourself whenever require okay but uh, when i am explaining uh, something okay please uh, mute yourself okay so that others uh, will able to hear uh, what is going on yes okay so i request to unmute yourself whenever uh, necessary because i have given you uh, to mute and uh, unmute okay now uh, let us see the next yes. problem okay so let us go for uh, the next problem okay write down the next problem which is similar uh, to the previous one find the length of the arc find the length of the arc of parabola y square is equal to 8x so same parabola we are using but now uh, this arc is cut off by cut off by the line 3y is equal to 8x okay so same parabola we are using okay but uh, we are using the line now 3y is equal to 8x okay so we uh, we have to find the length of the arc of parabola y square is equal to 8x cut off by the line 3y is equal to 8x okay so let us see the solution uh, for this okay so let us see the solution for this problem now okay we, we have uh, we have to find the length of the arc cut off by the uh, cut, uh, length of the arc of the parabola y square is equal to 8x cut off by the line dy is equal to 8x okay so here uh, we have to uh, find the length of the arc again we have the same parabola y square is equal to 8x now uh, as we have seen in the previous uh, case we have express x is equal to y square by uh, 8 and then y square by 8 then we have calculated dx by dy is equal to 2y by 8 so dx by dy okay dx by uh, dy is equal to y by 4 and then this calculation remains same up to this but here uh, we have to find the length of the curve uh cut off by this line so this is the line 3y is equal to 8x and uh, we have to find uh, this length now 
okay so here y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 3 so how to calculate uh, this uh, y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 3 so we have to calculate the length of the <coughs> parabola cut off by this line so we have to find out the points of intersection with this line so now for the point of intersection we'll equate these two equations okay so we'll equate 3y is equal to uh, 8x okay and then we'll equate y square is equal to 8x so we know 8x and 8x and hence we can write 3y is equal to y square so if we solve this 3y is equal to y square then uh, we have 3y is equal to y square so i can write y square minus 3y is equal to 0 so i'll be having y in bracket y minus 3 is equal to 0 so we can have y is equal to 0 or y is equal to 3 so y is running from 0 to 3 now here uh, at y is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 and at y is equal to 3 x is equal to 9 by 8 so we have already uh, written here the points uh, these are the points of intersection okay now let us find out the length so the length yes of the arc cut off by the line is s yes is equal to 0 to 3 then uh, integration 0 to 3 square root of 1 plus dx by dy bracket square dy so we can simplify this again we use the same formula and uh, we are able to get uh, this but here uh, we need to be careful that the limit are going to be 0 to 3 okay so if we apply the limit s yes is equal to then i'll get 1 by 4 3 by 2 here i am using uh, upper limit 3 so 3 square plus y 4 square plus 4 square by 2 log of 3 plus square root of 3 square plus 4 square now here if i use 0 then i'll be having minus 0 minus 4 square by 2 log of 0 plus square root of 0 plus 4 square and if we simplify this then This is three square nine plus sixteen, uh, twenty five. So root of twenty five we can calculate. It's going to be five. And here we can simplify again. We can have it here after simplification. Okay, <coughs> we'll get the value of yes is equal to one by four, fifteen by two plus eight log of eight by four. So eight by four can be simplified, and that's going to be two. So this way we are able to find out the length of the parabola or the arc. cut off by the line dy is equal to 8x so now i hope uh, you were able to understand this problem yes sir okay uh, do you yes, have sir. any doubt up to yet no sir okay any one of you have doubt all of you were able to see the uh, solution that what i have uh, given sir sir ha uh, boliye sir can you show the diagram once again okay i will uh, show you the diagram okay uh, see this diagram same as the previous one but here the line and uh, parabola is there so the line is 8y is equal uh, 3y is equal to 8x and uh, then we have a parabola y square is equal to 8x uh, okay okay yes. yeah so that's good so i hope uh, you know, you will able to solve yes, the problems of same kind again yes sir okay so shall we go for uh, the next uh, type of problem okay so uh, let us go for the next problem i hope uh, you are writing uh, the problem and solution yes sir yes sir okay so write down the next problem find the total length right
write down the next problem find the total length of the loop of the curve find the total length of the loop of the curve 9y square 9y square equal to equal to x plus 7 into another bracket x plus 4 bracket square sir can you repeat okay write down the problem find the total length of the curve find the total length of the curve 9y square equal to first bracket you write down x plus 7 into second bracket you write down x plus 4 bracket square so i'll show you the problem okay okay so okay, sir okay. yeah okay so write down this problem find the total length of the loop of the curve 9y square equal to x plus 7 In another bracket, x plus four bracket square. 